sail up. Getting up to seven knots. Shit, yeah! Wind direction keeps changing, um, and the wind strength. Hopefully, there's wind, and you know they'll be. We'll go from zero to thirty knots, and then back to zero again. And oh man, it's just hard, hard work. I guess we're having a big engine would be quite nice, but whatever. Anyway, I better keep going. I'm about to crash into a muscle farm. Coolio. Let's see if I can get some footage. Of this bloody weather because it's crazy and of course I come out to film with a gust of wind and it's flat it disappears on me it'll be back though So things have sort of calmed down a little bit here. You can see it's actually not a bad day today. Um, still getting the odd gusts come through, uh, but yeah, nothing like what it was. Um, so that's really nice. So sort of able to relax a bit more today and do a few things. Um, but yeah, yesterday I uh, I lost a few things over the boat. Well, mostly it was just the fishing rod. It actually um, got that rod holder that rod holder just there um and the fishing rod actually blew out of it i've never quite seen anything like it a, the a gust of wind just came through and it just picked the fishing rod up and tossed it um out of the boat and that happened um just just over there where that blue boy is you probably can't see it um so yeah i'm gonna jump in some diving gear and uh See if I can find it.
compression rod. Um, but that's all right. I decided to carry on and uh, try and find something for dinner. <laughs> I'm gonna eat one now raw and I'll probably have the other one tonight with the mussels I got so yeah it's gonna be a really really good dinner I think I'm excited about that mm. oh yeah living the high life all right, so turn that off. Don't really need that now. Um, yeah, it's about oh, six o'clock in the morning. Gonna just sort of yeah pack away the breakfast dishes um, and um, yeah drop the mooring ball and we're off. Hopefully, I'll try and, try and get back around the corner to French Pass today. Um, I'm expecting the wind to be going the wrong way. Uh, so yeah, I'll be beating into it. The forecast is for around 20 knots. Um, so, I mean, yeah, we'll see how it goes. This, this could be a rough one. Um, yeah, it'll either be rough or it won't. We'll see. Let's get out there. I just realised I didn't have the uh, kill switch thing, emergency stop, plugged in. <laughs> so hopefully that was the problem. <laughs> So despite the 20 knot forecast, I actually had no wind all day um, and just the most flat, calm, beautiful conditions you've ever seen. Dive, but you never know. 
an idea, yeah, I've never dived here before, um, but it could be good. I was just about to give up diving. Um, wasn't very good. I turned my camera off. I was like, ah, whatever, you know. And then this happened. It's not a huge kingfish, but it's a kingfish. That is going to be some good Christmas dinner. Yes! <laughs> I'm so stoked if you couldn't tell. Um, shot wasn't great, so I had quite a fight getting it back to the boat. I sort of played it out for, I don't know, it felt like a long time, it probably wasn't. And uh, got it back to the boat. It's not a huge kingy, but it's kingy. I'm wrapped. Right after catching my kingfish, um, it was time to head to Okiwi Bay to spend Christmas with the family um, and also with my partner Ari. A really good Christmas. Um, just hanging out with everyone on the boat, having good times.